75 years after its start, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization remains the most direct U.S. engagement in European security. Founded after the Second World War, NATO originally joined the United States and 11 European nations in promising to come to each other's aid if any one of them is attacked. Then U.S. President Harry Truman. If there is anything certain today, if there is anything inevitable in the future, it is the will of the people of the world for freedom and for peace. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, NATO's response, and what it says about America's role in European security separate U.S. presidential candidates Joe Biden and Donald Trump. When he was president, Trump told NATO leaders they were not paying enough for their own protection. The one that benefits really the least is the United States. We benefit the least. We're helping Europe. Europe unites and they go against a common foe uh, that may or may not be a foe. Can't tell you that. But there are other foes out there also. Five years later, Trump told a campaign rally in South Carolina that getting tough with NATO members worked. NATO was busted until I came along. I said, everybody's going to pay. They said, well, if we don't pay, are you still going to protect us? I said, absolutely not. They couldn't believe the answer. And everybody, you never saw more money pour in. NATO has grown since the Trump administration. Sweden and Finland joined the alliance in the last year or so. In its biggest expansion since the fall of the Soviet Union allowed Eastern European countries to join NATO. Biden says standing up to Russian aggression together shows NATO is working. Before the war started, I told Putin that if he invaded Ukraine, NATO would not only get stronger, but would get more united. And we would see, we'd see democracies in the world stand up and oppose his aggression and defend the rules-based order. And that's exactly what we're seeing today. As president, Trump prioritized relations with Russia and Vladimir Putin. Campaigning for a second term, he recalled a NATO leader asking about Russian threats. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. Biden says that approach to European security is dangerous for America. A former Republican president tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want. That's a quote. A former president actually said that, bowing down to a Russian leader. I think it's outrageous. It's dangerous and it's unacceptable. Trump told the conservative British television network GB News that he backs NATO if everyone pays their fair share. If they play fair, if they start to play fair, America's there. Yes, 100%, 100%. Thank you. Biden says NATO is stronger and more